welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Cheryl and today I'm going to be showing you my long-awaited dorm tour. As always, if you're interested in any of the products I show in today's video, I'll have everything that I can try to find linked down below, so check that out if you're interested. I can no longer procrastinate filming this video because I am moving out in the next two months, which is so surreal and so sad. I got in so attached to living in this space, but I do want to incorporate more decor that resonates with me. And so I was scrolling on Pinterest, as I do, and I saw a ton of different aesthetics, but I really loved the preppy vibe that a lot of girls go with. And so I really tried incorporating those elements into my own decor, made it my own, and now I absolutely love the space that I live in. If you're confused about my current living situation, I am a third year, but I currently work as a residential advisor, which is why I get to live in the single dormitory with my very own bathroom. But with that out of the way, let's go ahead and dive into my dorm tour. Starting off with my door, this is where you would enter, and next to it I have my shoe rack, which is so convenient, especially when in a rush. I have my slides, all of my Uggs, can you tell I'm obsessed at the moment? Sneakers, heels, sandals, and all of my workout shoes. Honestly, I'm still surprised with how white they still are. But moving on, I have my bathroom, which we will get into later. But next to it, I have my towel rack where I just keep extra towels for any guests that do decide to stop by. Walking in, I have my Lululemon backpack, which I sometimes use for uni. Of course, I have to have a little sanitizer attached because it's so easy to get sick in a room full of people nowadays. But here's my micro fridge where I put magnets that my sister and her boyfriend gifted me. They're so cute, I'm probably going to be collecting them from now on. And here's what it looks like from the front. Starting from the top, I have this container I use to hold my napkins. I actually stole a ton when I visited a Skims pop-up shop and just put them here to use. This frame I picked up from TJ Maxx. And this utensil holder is actually a candle that I finished but wanted to reuse its container. Lastly, I have this glossier bag I got in store when I visited their Melrose location. This sticker is from Redbubble. And I made this at one of the programs I hosted and thought it'd be really cute to display. Super proud of it if you can't tell already. I really wanted to fill this space up, so I got these magnets to add to my collection. They were only a dollar for four. I know, what a deal. And I actually got this from my friend Ashley, who got the chance to visit Hawaii, which is so cool. Here's my duffel that I got from Brandy Melville, and next to it, I have my dresser. I definitely went through a phase of needing everything and anything that was released by Glossier, if that isn't obvious enough. But here is their mirror, their water bottle, which I wish I used more often, but I switch it out all the time. I can't even keep up with what I want anymore, but I also have a ton of bomb.coms. I'm pretty sure they came out with new packaging, but I really always loved how these were. I have their lotion and, of course, their keychain. You know me, can't help getting anything that says it's exclusive. These plants are fake and from Amazon. I wanted real ones, but I have to be realistic and know I won't be able to care for one. She's self-aware. And this is a self-help book that I got from Target. I heard great things, so I thought I'd give it a shot and, you know, start my self-care journey, as you should as well. Getting into what's in my drawers, I swear I don't live off this, guys. This is just my snack drawer. Here's 
Here are my sweaters, hoodies, and zip ups. I could hang them, but to be honest, I ran out of hangers, so they're kind of just stuffed in here. Initially, when moving in, I always wanted the opportunity to have a jar purely for accessories. So on the right, I have my bags. Most of them are from Brandy. This bin is for all of my tote bags. I started, clearly couldn't stop buying them. Mittens, beanies, bikinis, and some really overpriced socks I got from Skims. Don't know what I was thinking, but nevertheless, I love picking through and choosing what to pair for my outfit that day. This bin I got from TJ Maxx, and now onto my desk. Like my dresser, I got this contact paper to put over the gray counter so it gives a cleaner finish. This is from Amazon. I like having a holder as well for my electronics, so here's one for my phone, another one for my iPad Pro, and of course one for my MacBook. Super convenient and it's really good for posture as well, so definitely recommend. I have this mic, which I believe is from the brand Ice. I actually got it on sale, so maybe it's still going on, so check it out. This vase is from Target. I like keeping fresh flowers in here, but you know, don't have any right now. This is my latest water bottle obsession. Also heard you could fit a Starbucks Venti in here, which is honestly a plus to keep your drinks cold. I have my mirror from Home Goods, and this lamp I love because it gives off this ambient lighting that's perfect to keep the space feeling really cozy at night. For the first drawer, I have my wildflower case and my planner. I use it every day, so it's really nice to just simply reach over it and write when eating breakfast in the morning or, you know, doing whatever. I love doing my hair in different hairstyles and coordinating it with whatever I'm wearing that day. These clips are from Amazon, Princess Polly, these I saw on Pinterest had to get my hands on them. These mini clips are so cute. I got my brush, claw clip, and much more in the back as well. In this one, I have my makeup remover, Skims Mask. This I saw going viral on TikTok to give heatless curls, so excited to try it out. My jewelry box, hair oil, extra bath and body work sanitizers, and some dry shampoo. Now these are more miscellaneous items. I got my pencil case my nail bag, emergency kit, vitamins, and self-care journals. For the last drawer, I have my accessories for all my electronics. This is my Apple keyboard. Let's ignore how dirty it is. My USB, charger, adapter, tripod, camera, and tripod bag for my chargers and other wires. I thought to keep my sunnies in here as well. This is one of my favorites. I got it during our trip to Lake Tahoe and it was a really cool experience. I'm glad I picked it up on our last day. This is a rug I got from Ikea. It was only $2 and I really think that you should consider getting one if you decide to move out because it definitely makes you feel more comfortable sitting without sandals on. My chair initially was this really dark brown shade and it really just wasn't matching what I wanted to have going on. So I decided to throw on a seat cover. This one is from Amazon and it really makes the room feel more cohesive. I also got this pillow from Target. Behind it, I have this plant I got from TJ Maxx. I really wanted to incorporate as much greenery as possible even if it's fake, okay? <laughs> and this rug is one I picked up from the kids section at Target. I really just loved how colorful it is. If you don't like it, that's okay, because I like it. It's really cute to me. Okay, so now let's move on to the other half of my room, which is my bed.
On my bed, I have this blanket that I was gifted. It's so soft, I love it, especially when it gets chilly in here. For some reason, my AC turns on by itself, kind of spooky, but <laughs> these pillows are both from Target. I'm so scared that these might pull off, so hoping that they don't. Above my bed, I have this LED light. It's actually from Dormify and it's so cute. I think I got it on sale for like $20, $22, but it's one of my favorite pieces in my room. Now let's get into my sofa. This is where I lounge most of the day. It's like my own little cozy corner. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to find a cover that fit this chair, so I ended up just using a bed sheet, tucked it in, and it worked out. Here is my buddy, Doug. I actually got him from my parents. He's so soft and plump. He reminds me of the Squishmallow, and you know, I wish I had more Squishmallows. They're so cute. These pillows I got from back home. I have one on either side of the couch, just for comfort. This cap I got from training. I have to have it at arm's reach because it is getting so hot and I cannot deal <laughs> with the sweats. The garland is from Target, really cute. I got it from the holiday section and I believe it was only $10. These pictures came from an online purchase I made at Brandy. They were free and I thought I would just incorporate them into my decor because, I mean, the walls were looking very blank. Looking into my closet, I put LED lights on the perimeter to really brighten up the space at night. The shelf is from Amazon, got my uniforms, work two jobs, so a lot of shirts, dresses, long sleeves, and short sleeves. This hat is from Brandy. It's so cute for baseball games. I have one that's coming up soon, so that's why it's here, just so I don't forget. This hanger holds like four of my shorts, super convenient and space saving. On top, I have another Glossier bag and Skims bag. The packaging was just too cute to throw away. Okay, I had to have it there, but that's my right side of my closet. Let's go on and see what's on my left. On top, I have my tote bags. They're from Mima Made It, and I absolutely adore this brand. Their bags can fit a MacBook 13, so you know I had to get it in all the colors. I'm also obsessed with color coordinating my closet, so here's a blend of all my skirts and my pants. It's just so aesthetically pleasing. It generally makes me excited to dress up. That said, let's go on and check out what's in my bathroom. Starting with my rug, it's the same as the previous one I showed with my shower slippers on it as well. Here is my shower with my towel beside it. Let's go into what's in my shower. I've been trying out new products from Native, Monday, etc. and I've honestly been loving it. It's really affordable as well, which, you know, is always a plus for a college student. This laundry basket I got from Target, it has wheels and a handle which is so convenient. This container on the left is from Amazon and on the right it's from back home. I just painted it because, you know, why not make it more cohesive with the theme? I have to say that the color tile when moving in threw me off. I thought it looked like a 70s public bathroom but it's totally okay. I think I got over it. Um, I don't mind it as much, but here is a cart that I got from Amazon. It has three tiers and it's really convenient. As you can tell, it holds all of my stuff. Here I have my skincare and my hair care products that I use for the days I want to pamper myself. And behind it, I have all of my Olaplex products. I'm trying to get more into hair care and remain consistent, so <laughs> gotta have there as a reminder. This is a trash can I got from Ikea. I believe it was only $4. As for my sink, I have this glossy air bag I put my most used skincare in. 
In the corner, I have another plant from Amazon, and alongside it, I have my Bath & Body Works soaps, gels, and lotion. This perfume is actually Glossier's You Perfume, and it just smells so good. You have to try it. It's one of my favorite scents. And lastly, I have this pot that I made in Color Me Mine. I'm not too proud of it. It looks really bad. Just don't look too close at it. But I just, you know, hold my little sponge in there. And that's about it. Alright guys, it's going to be the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, turn on push notifications, and comment what aesthetic your room is. That said, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!